Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video and here I am with a new game and it's called Mortal Kombat uh, but it's a mobile version actually I'm playing on my phone as you can see here um, so yeah um, in this video uh, I'm just gonna do a bit I'm gonna talk a bit about the game for those of you who don't know just to give a brief introduction about how it works and such and I'm also gonna show my uh, collection of cards and maybe uh, play a match or two. So first off, here is the home screen. Um, as you can see when you load up the game, this is pretty much what you see. Um, we've got a lot of options on what game modes to uh, play. We have the single player and the battle mode. We have the multiplayer faction modes and we also have the side mission quest mode where basically you send off your characters on a uh, mission for a few hours and then once uh, the time has passed, you will, if you are successful in that mission, um, you can get like some loot, basically some souls and some coins from that, but more to that later. And the single player mode is pretty much self-explanatory, it's more of just, um, it's a tower based game where you basically um, play in stages where you um, play each tower and defeat different teams and then as you progress up the tower, you gain more XP and it gets harder and in the, in the end you have to fight a boss. So that's pretty much it. The, that's pretty much the concept of the game. So I haven't finished playing the, what is it, the single player mode yet. Um, because I'm working on getting my uh, collection of cards uh, in a higher level. Because right now if you look at my collection of cards here, the highest level card that, the only highest card level of card that I have which would be my silver Kenshi card which is level 50 and because it's a silver one it's not the most powerful card there is so right now I'm working on getting more cards up to speed of course so um, this is my collection of cards as you can see it may look like quite a lot and I guess I can agree to a certain extent because um, I have been playing this game for quite some time and uh, even though I may have played this game for quite some time, like I started in uh, what year 2015 or 2016, I think. Then I took a break for quite a while, but and in that sh in that amount of time that I didn't play this game, uh, lots of challenges came, and you know, lots of cards were re were released. So, so as you can see on the screen here, there are actually quite a lot of. Uh, characters but if you look closely like there's like a variety or different types of the same characters and these are the characters I mentioned that were released in like uh, challenge updates for this game so yeah there are actually like different segments like um, there's the day of the dead cold war and also the combat cup ones and uh, I'm not sure if can if I can unlock these cards because like their challenges have passed but oh well it's fine I guess so yeah, this is my selection of cards and I really hope to unlock more of these in the future. So yeah, that's pretty much my collection. I have one level 50 card and I have... Oh, actually wait, I have another level 50 card which is the Demolition Sonya Blade. I completely overlooked that. My bad. So enough talk. Um, I'm gonna try out the multiplayer Fraction Wars. So just gonna do a quick battle, but first before going into the battle, I'm gonna show you the different teams of... Uh, cards that I have. So in this game you are allowed to have three teams of cards. So this is one of my teams which is comprised of Kenshi, Raiden and Jade. So it may seem like a weird combo but uh, I agree because uh, right now this deck is more of to uh, rank up the Raiden and Jade cards to level 50 because like I said I need more level 50 characters to progress in the single player game so yeah uh, this is one of the teams that I have and also looking at team 2 this is I call this the Kenshi team because this is one of the best uh, decks that I have and I also am using this deck in multiplayer to uh, win I mean to level up my other Kenshi cards which are the balanced Kenshi and the possessed Kenshi because I really need more gold cards to progress in game because it's actually quite difficult to play single player with only one silver card silver and gold level 50 cards so yeah and then team 1 um, this uh, this team is more of an interchangeable team because I use this team to uh, play in challenges or events like for example as you can see in the home screen we have the Scorch Baraka challenge and 
in the final battle, uh, it says here Liu Kang must be on your team, called all the diamond characters only. And so yeah, this is why I have Liu Kang on my team. And uh, this is one of the challenges, as I mentioned before, like this game has over time challenges uh, are added to the game to get more cards, of course. So going back to the multiplayer section here, I'm um, gonna do a f an online match, just a quick one, uh, one match only, and I'm gonna do that with my Kenshi deck. So when it comes to multiplayer matches, we have a variety or selection of uh, what kind of multiplayer matches you want to do. So as you can see, we have one, three, five, seven, and basically the more battles that you choose to do, the more rewards you, you will get. But in this video, I'm just gonna do one quick battle to show you um, my Kenshi deck and the mechanics of the of this game basically. So here is my opponent. We have Triborg, Scorpion, and Kotal Khan. So unlike the console version of Mortal Kombat, like the mobile ver the mobile version, for those of you who have played um, Injustice, uh, Injustice One, Injustice Two, the mobile version, you can see that uh, it's more towards just tapping on the screen multiple times and following the commands like both swiping up, down, left, right. But uh, the way I see it, even though it may just be limited to uh, tapping and swiping, it's more of a tactical game where you have to uh, work on upgrading your cards and uh, uh, up upgrade their skills and talents to make it a more uh, interesting game basically because like the better skills you have for a certain character, um, the more powerful your character will get. So if you look at my catchy card here, uh, just a second, I have maxed out a lot of things, um, I have improved the stats a whole lot. Uh, as you can see, the Roman numeral uh, 8 is basically because I have fused 8 catchy cards together to get these stats that I have right now. And uh, I have also maxed out all the special attacks here, I even have uh, the equipment, the shuriken gladiator mask, and the bra 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 brawler gloves. So yeah, uh, all of these cards, like it adds to the um, concept of the game on making the game more interesting in a way. So yeah, like it is. It, uh, before going on with the match, like it's pretty uh, straightforward, but at the same time you have to work on other things. It's more of like a grinding type of game, but I think it's pretty interesting at the same time. So to start off. So when it comes to multiplayer matches, it's quite simple in the sense that more often than not, you will only have to use your most powerful character. So using the first power up, see I'm swiping up on my team right now. And yeah, my Kenji, my level 50 can is dealing quite the damage to Scorpion. So now the power drain attack because it was his power up or special attack. But for the sake of this video, we can use another character. It's pretty easy actually once you. Oh, that hurts. Um, as I was saying, I'm not tapping on skin a lot. Okay, so. And this is my possess Kenshi. And. I'm tapping again on screen. So yeah, but uh, even though it may look simple, like for those of you who, who have been playing the game as well, um, well clearly done. like it's not as simple as just uh, you know defeating the enemies because it gets a lot harder when your opponents are um, like really high level characters and you know maximum fusion and such. You get the idea. So I guess that's all for uh, this introductory Mortal Kombat mobile game video. Uh, leave a like if you like this video and of course don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So until the next video, see you then. Bye bye.